Where am I? I know this place. I've been here before. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. dreams again I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease if the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness I'll search for one myself you said and in that search it seems you lost yourself I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored it. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. My, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was to a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore.
I missed the sea so much when we moved to Denver. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Love this song. All right, now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Harry Everhart, my... I've still got to pack up a few more things. Hmm, I think I've overpacked. <laughs> what was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions.
We're all set, madam. The remote boat is ready. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. Now please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, they led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar, as impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. Breathtaking, idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. What? There's definitely something strange about this place. Okay, Harry. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. I feel... quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island.